appreciate it. Um, so yeah, Tom, so um, we we're just chatting before we came on. The conditioning, do you want to put, um, like what is fitness? What is conditioning from your eyes? Do you want to give us a bit of a uh, kind of definition or kind of how you view it? Okay, so I think, firstly, I just want to say that the strength and conditioning as a term, I'm not a fan of, to be honest, because I think there's some connotations with it that have led it astray in many ways. So um, strength and conditioning basically makes you think about weights and running, okay? Um, I, I, and, I but conditioning in itself isn't a bad word, because conditioning is like what we're trying to do. We're trying to condition ourselves to do something. So that's how, we, that's how I think about conditioning, uh, in a sense. So with sevens, for example, we're trying to condition the players to be able to tolerate the game of sevens. Okay, so there's, and there's two ways I think we need to talk about conditioning. So there's that, I talk about uh, tolerating the loads they're going to be exposed to so they don't break down. And then there's repeatability. So you talked about speed and agility and power. Like that, that's what defines performance, how powerful you are, how fast you are in a moment, how quickly you solve the problem, how efficiently you solve the problem. What defines how well you do that at the end of the game is what I think of more as repeatability because that gives us its proper importance in terms of trying to solve the problem. So what I think we get with conditioning is a lot of people saying they're doing conditioning, but they're just doing stuff that feels hard. And when you're competing at lower levels and yeah, you can get away with doing whatever and you're going to improve, but the higher and higher levels you get to sport, the more purpose there has to be. Um, I heard this from a great coach and friend of mine, Jonas, uh, talked about the toothpaste tube analogy. Uh, when you're working with a beginner you could, uh, and you've got a, a, a new tube of toothpaste, you can press anywhere on it and uh, toothpaste is going to come out. But as soon as you get towards the end of that, so if you've got a very experienced athlete operating at a high level, you could be very particular about how you squeeze and bend and fold the tooth, uh, toothpaste tube to get some toothpaste out. So the same with uh, conditioning and with elite athletes. But for me, it has to come back to purpose. You have to understand what is the purpose between what we're trying to do. Just making people tired is not good enough. And it happens a lot at every level of sport. And it's, it's, there needs to be much more purpose than that. Interesting. That's, really, um, that's a really good point. So actually, when we just hear the term strength and conditioning,